Hey everyone, and welcome back to Scandalous Media. It's Alana here, and today we have a special video in store for you guys. So we've been covering the dramatic duo Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for a couple of years now, and something that both Harry and Meghan have been struggling with that has actually been detrimental to their brand is their likability factor. In this video, I'm going to talk primarily about Meghan and why she is unlikable. If you guys want me to do a different video on Harry or any other celebrity, let me know in the comments down below. From trying to paint herself as a rags to riches star, to hopping on any sort of trend to utilize in her favor, to trying to be a relatable formal royal, Meghan has single-handedly ruined her likability by simply opening her mouth and giving people reasons to find her unlikable. She has ruined any sort of trust she has built with the general public by being exposed as a fraudulent liar, and in turn, this has made people turn away from her, something Meghan tried to paint as racism, but really it's something as simple as being unlikable. Before we start, be sure to follow us on our social media, like and subscribe for more each week, and a huge thank you to June's Journey for sponsoring this part of the video. Now, as you guys know, we here on this channel love uncovering hints and clues that lie in the public eye when it comes to celebrity stories. June's Journey is a hidden object mystery game with a captivating detective story that takes you back to the glamorous 1920s. Each new scene takes you further along the story where we follow the main protagonist, June Parker, in a quest to solve the murder of her sister. Now the reason why I love this game and I'm already on level 6 is because of how the story progresses. Every hidden object scene feels like it's a piece of the story and is smoothly incorporated into the game. At every level, you get two new hints that give you an inside look at what happened to June's sister and her husband. As someone who pays attention to detail, I really love the animation of this game and how crisp it is. And the fact that you can customize and remodel your mansion and garden island. June's journey feels like a nice little escape where you get to play detective and work your way to cracking a thrilling murder mystery. You truly feel like you're part of the story. I think you guys would love this game as we here on the Scandalous Media team love looking at hidden clues that point towards a bigger picture. This is a free mobile game and you can download it by clicking the link below in the description box or by scanning my QR code right here. This game is available on Android and iOS mobile devices, as well as on PC through Facebook games. And without further ado, let me take you through a different journey, and that is why Meghan Markle is unlikable. Meghan's inability to be genuine Have you ever met someone and immediately felt like something was off with them? People's energy and aurora are something that read off to others. When someone is cold or insensitive, that's something other people can feel. Sometimes celebrities can perfect how to be warm, loving, and relatable to the general public. They can build that relationship even if that isn't who they are at their core. But oftentimes, it's hard. In the case of Meghan, everything she does seems to have a hidden agenda for personal gain. Meghan's inability to be genuine makes people feel like everything seems to be about her. It's why her nickname on the internet has become Megan, because she does everything for herself time and time again. She has photo ops for her own purpose, and that was a big issue at the Invictus Games and something I discussed in my video. She was constantly seen pushing Harry away from people so that she can butt in and get a photo. There was this one incident where she spotted a boy in a wheelchair, and it's not like his family or anyone motioned for her to come say hi or do anything. She came over, didn't even say hi or look him in the eyes, she just bent down, took a photo, and walked away. If you guys watched my Netflix recap series, you know that she even filmed her own engagement. When Harry proposed, she was literally filming on her phone. Wait, what? Who films their own engagement? That read off to me as that she wanted to have the footage just in case it didn't make its way to the public. Forbes posted an article where they highlighted the factors of genuine people, and one huge factor was that genuine people don't try and make people like them. Megan is all about trying to be relatable and quirky, and she tries so hard for public approval that it just reads off as ingenuine and unnatural. 
and even worse, she can't process the fact that not everyone likes her. She has to shift the blame on why people don't like her and she masks it with, well, you're racist. You didn't want to have a black woman in the commonwealth. And it's like, no, you're just unlikable. Your quest for attention is obvious and it makes you unlikable. Not treating people with respect. Another factor that makes her unlikable is not treating people with respect. The way you treat the working class says everything I need to know about you. And the fact that there was a whole bullying investigation into Meghan's treatment of her staff while working as a royal says it all. Both she and Harry tried to deny they bullied anyone, but then again, what did Harry write in spare? Oh right, their staff was slumped over their desks crying. And not only that, but William confronted Harry about Meghan's poor treatment of staff that just festered a whole issue in their work environment. So why would William confront you, Harry, and why was the staff crying at their desks if Meghan didn't bully them? As usual, everyone else is at fault. Being motivated by materialistic things. Another factor that makes Meghan unlikable is being motivated by material things. When the only thing you want slash need slash crave in life is materialistic things, then that's a problem on its own. It's okay to enjoy the materialistic things of life, but the fact that Meghan reportedly changed her engagement ring to add more diamonds because she wasn't happy with the sentimental ring Harry gave her was off-putting. Her PR rep tried to pin it as, Harry wanted to give her an upgrade. Oh really? Is that why she was seen without the ring during her pregnancy with Archie? Who wants an upgrade or a changed ring not even a year after the wedding? It's ridiculous. The fact that she wears the most expensive and outrageous clothes and jewelry to charity events, such as the Salute to Freedom Gala or the Invictus Games, says it all. The fact that she flew to Rwanda for a charity trip, but made sure to bring a whole team of makeup and hair and was exposed for only taking pictures for a few minutes, screams being ingenuine and being motivated by materialistic things. Not to mention all the money she spent from the royal budget, more than the late Queen Elizabeth and Princess Catherine, and still had the nerve to complain about work. Being a victim and looking for offense. People that are genuine and likable have the ability to be thick-skinned. More importantly, they don't go seeking offense that isn't there. However, Meghan is the definition of being offended and seeking to find offense just to make herself a victim. Her entire Archetypes podcast was about avenging every single word someone has ever called her. Every single word. She has a whole podcast dedicated to being called difficult, another one to being called the B word, and another one to address her more scandalous roles at the beginning of her career. Instead of reflecting on how the past brought her to where she is today and showing gratefulness, she just sat there and invited a bunch of random guests to hear a bunch of word salad just so she can tell us her side of the story yet again. When you type in a question on the Google search engine, it would, as we, you know, we've all seen before with autofill, try to guess what your question will be. Sort of like the modern day technological Mad Lib. So, to know the language into her when she typed in, why are black people so Autofill from the computer, the machine, trying to guess your thoughts, maybe shape your thoughts. When people didn't like that when touring in Africa and seeing a lot of people who were less fortunate than her, but yet she had the audacity to say in an interview no one asked if she was okay, she couldn't handle the criticism that came from that, nor did she reflect on why her comment was problematic. Instead, she went out of her way to write a whole article for the New York Times and exposed a private thing such as a miscarriage, all so she can talk about that interview from their 10-day tour in Africa. Everything they talked about on Netflix was a rebuttal to what people said about them. They spent episodes and episodes trying to convince everyone that no one had a real reason to hate Meghan, and people only hate her because she's black. Even though Meghan herself said she never got treated like a black woman. Most people didn't treat me like a black woman. So that talk didn't have to happen for me. They spent their time on Netflix trying to convince people that Meghan was so naive and didn't know who the hell Harry was and was so busy with her ultra popular show, when in reality, her show was on its last legs and dropping in viewership with every episode. And she did know exactly who Harry was, as exposed by her past visit to Buckingham Palace at the age of 15. As exposed by her writing about Princess Catherine on her blog. As exposed in an interview where she was asked to choose between Harry or Prince William. And so much more. Prince 
William or Prince Harry? <laughs> Harry. <laughs> Harry. Which brings me to my next point. Megan's hypocrisy and lies. Megan has no trust with the general public because she's been exposed as a liar several times. Whether that was something mundane like lying about not knowing who the British royal family was or something big like perjury in court. I have covered so many of Harry and Meghan's lies, whether that's in Spare, on Netflix, on Oprah, and so much more, so definitely check out my previous videos for all the details. But for the sake of time, I'll just list a few off the top of my head. 1. She lied in court about not giving the authors of Finding Freedom any information in her privacy battle, only to later admit she was lying. 2. She lied on Netflix about being chased at Whole Foods and seeing a bunch of tabloids plastered with her name at the checkout register. Meanwhile, there were photos of bystanders not even recognizing her on her walk back from Whole Foods. And the Whole Foods next to the palace doesn't have tabloids by the checkout center. 3. She lied about having a private wedding with her, Harry, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, forcing the Archbishop to come out and say that isn't true. 4. She lied about being an only child on Oprah to justify the fact that she simply cut off all her half-siblings because they couldn't benefit her anymore. 5. She lied about the engagement interview being rehearsed and then had the interviewer clap back and call her out. 6. She lied about not wearing any bright colors to stand out. Meanwhile, muted tones and neutrals are literally her color palette and what she's constantly seen wearing the most even years after she left the royal family. Seven. She lied about not having anyone teach her anything to prepare her for royal life and that there was no such classes. Meanwhile, she herself took an etiquette class in LA before moving to the UK and she told the writers of Finding Freedom that she took a royal master class from the Queen herself and was on record to be trained by Samantha Cohen who only came back to work for the royal family after retiring because she was recruited for Meghan. 8. She lied about the palace not letting her invite her niece Ashley. Meanwhile, that never happened. She just used the palace as a scapegoat for why she cut off her niece for no reason. I can go on and on and on, but these are just some of the craziest lies that pop up in my head. If you guys want me to do a video on the top 10 craziest lies Harry and Meghan have said, or make it specific to Netflix like the top 10 craziest lies said on Netflix, considering they said well over 40, let me know. Having no empathy. Megan constantly wants to convince us that she's this warm and loving mother who loves to cook and spend time with her kids, but her coldness is prominent in her actions, not her words. She cut off her entire family, black and white. She couldn't forgive her father for doing something that she constantly does, which is staged paparazzi photos. He publicly apologized and constantly begged to see his grandkids before he dies, considering his health is declining and he knows that he may not have much longer. Even if he did do something attention-seeking, most people don't realize that he did it in response to her actions, and that was her slowly cutting him out of the wedding, and then hiding behind the excuse of staging photos of him getting fitted for a suit which is not that bad. Regardless, he had a stroke and she didn't go see him once. Both she and Harry knew that Prince Philip was in a crucial state and still went ahead with the Oprah interview. Many sources have come out throughout the years and said that Meghan specifically made the Queen's last year's hell, despite being on record saying that the Queen was nothing but warm and welcoming towards her. And yet, after her death, they both had no empathy and went on with the Netflix release which slandered the royal family and then released Spare which had even more bizarre lies than anything else. Meghan's aunt also said that after her husband died, not once did Meghan call and give her condolences. And yes, that is her aunt from her black side of the family. I don't know if the racism excuse can work there, Megs. Well, these are just six reasons as to why Meghan Markle is unlikable. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and would like a part two, and if you want me to do this type of videos for any other celebrity I usually cover. Once again, thank you June's Journey for sponsoring this video. Make sure to either scan my QR code or click the link in the description box below to check out the game for yourself. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos to come, follow us on our social media, and as always, I'll see you next time!